Welcome everybody to the Mark No Free Head Coaches Show. It's week four of the Sacred Heart football season, and as always, we're joined by the head coach of the Pioneers, Mark No Free. And coach, for the first time this season, you're preparing this week, coming off a loss, looking to rebound against Dartmouth after a tough one to Marist. There was a rocking crowd, great atmosphere, and a really good second half comeback attempt by you guys, but you fell just short. What's the message to the team this week, and what do we learn about this <clears throat> season's Pioneers? Um, well, obviously, you know, it was a tough loss for us going on the road in a great environment. And uh, I, I, we talked about it as a team. We talked about it on Saturday and things. And, you know, you can't take any opponent lightly. You know, we talk about it all the time that you focus on one game at a time. You don't look ahead. Um, and, you know, Maris and us have been pretty equal over the last few years. And, and the biggest thing is we got to show up and compete um, with the same energy and the same emotion each week. And uh, we didn't do those things the other night. You know, we didn't play our game. You know, we had... We were in the minus side for turnovers. Um, you know, we gave up some big plays on defense, which we haven't seen here in the last two or three years. And uh, like I said, I don't think we were playing for 60 minutes as hard as we could. And those are some of the things that we talked about after the game in order to win it. It's hard to win a college football game. And to win one, you got to be 60 minutes all out, and you got to focus in and lock in and, and do everything you can. And uh, we're going to get back to it this week and get after it and see what, see what brings us on uh, next Saturday at Dartmouth. I think one thing we were reminded of this week is that you always have a chance when you have RJ Noel and Tyler Duby. These two really go together beautifully. I mean, with one comes the other. They make each other great. Uh, we saw uh, the 30th career touchdown from <clears throat> Tyler Duby, the 50th career touchdown from RJ Noel. They connected three times for touchdowns, and uh, they really have become the premier duo in the Northeast Conference. How much fun <coughs> is it to watch them week after week <clears throat> and, and know that you have a chance when you have that weapon of Noel to Duby? You know, they got great chemistry, obviously. Um, you know, they're two of our guys, your, your go-to guys, and uh, two of the better athletes on the team. But what you like about those two is that they're competitors. You know, they're winners. And you look at them and how they, how they prepare themselves before games, how they prepare themselves in the offseason, what they do during a week of practice, the extra film study, the, uh, you know, just being around. I mean, they're, they're two guys that are relentless in terms of making sure that they're perfect and they're going to give everything they got every Saturday. You know, and they're gonna they're competitors and they're winners and, and it's shown over the course of the last two years and this year as well. Um, you couldn't ask for two kids um, that are better guys and, and you know good athletes but that care and that want to do everything they can do and they will do everything they can to make sure you get a win on Saturday. This past week defensively, <clears throat> you gave up some big plays, but you also made some big plays. There were eight tackles for a loss. There were six sacks. You got to the quarterback six times and a couple of forced turnovers. What about the defense? I know, again, there were those big plays that they ran, but there are those moments <clears throat> when the defense really shines. How are they able to do it each week? You know, Coach Wiss does a great job, you know, with him and, and the rest of the assistant coaches, and uh, they're constantly preaching, you know, um, relentless, you know, get to the ball. They want to see 11 hats, um, tough physical play. But, you know, don't forget, we got some new guys on the defense this year that have never been with us before or haven't played much. So there's some new faces, and, and there's some guys that we're trying to break in. Um, but, you know, you got your quarterback with, uh, you know, Connor Caveney and Candido and uh, Kevin Berry and some of those guys. You know, Alec Finelli played a lot last year. But, again, he's a sophomore. Timmy Johnson's a sophomore. He only played a little bit last year. So there's some new guys. Um, but, again, Coach Wiss does a great job. I mean, there's a lot of different things, a lot of moving parts, and everybody has to be on the same page. And I think uh, the good news is that they play hard and they play, play relentless and they're getting 11 hats to the ball. And if you do that, you got a shot and you're going to play great defense. One area of the game that is so important, sometimes overlooked, is the punting game. Special teams, the other third of the game. And Jamie Ross has shined on a couple occasions this season, particularly this past week at Marist. He is leading the conference in punting and really gives your team and your defense as good a chance as possible in the field positioning game. Uh, what does he do to, to be so effective each week? Well, James has been working at it. You know, he's a fifth-year kid for us, and uh, you know, he really started getting better last year. And uh, <clears throat> we changed some things up on a punt this year, and I think he's a little bit more relaxed. And, uh, again, he takes it serious. And I, I don't think people understand what a big uh, weapon that could be for you. Like you said, when you talk about field position and uh, where you're pinning people and make them drive the field, and then, you know, you get a three and out, it's a shorter field for our offense. So it plays a big part in both offense and defense for us. And Jamie's done a great job this year, and he works at it. And, like I said, he's a fifth-year kid, so he understands what we're looking for and what we need from him. All right, so this week, back on the road, this time up to Hanover, New Hampshire, to a tough team, a great Ivy League powerhouse in Dartmouth. They have great fans, terrific place to play. Saturday night, 7 o'clock, going to be another tough team in front of another tough crowd. 
What's the message in preparing for <clears throat> Dartmouth this week? Well, we have, we have to be ready to play. You know, obviously we have to go back and get on the plus side of the turnover battle. We got to fix some things, um, you know, some mistakes and some missed assignments that we had the other night. But the big thing, as we talked about, is competing for 60 minutes. Show up ready to play, play with emotion, and go up there, you know, and, and have a good game and play our game. I mean, they're a good football team. There's no question about it. I think they were picked second this year in the Ivy League. Um, they have an outstanding quarterback. They have a very good running back and a receiver returner. Uh, defensively, they got a few all-conference kids there at linebacker and D-line in the secondary. So um, they're a senior-oriented team this year, and they're good. Um, but again, you know, we got to go up there with a the mindset that, you know, we're going to play 60 minutes, we're going to play hard, and we're going to go back to grinding out wins and finding ways to get the ball in our playmakers' hands and then make plays at the end to win it. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to what we do, and, and hopefully we have a good showing on Saturday night. Very good coach as always. Thanks for the time. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. Mark Nofree, head coach of the Sacred Heart Pioneers, mm -hmm. as always joining us on the Mark Nofree Coaches Show. We'll have the call for you of Sacred Heart in Dartmouth at 7 o'clock. Kickoff on the Sacred Heart Pioneers Sports Network. Follow the links to the audio on sacredheartpioneers.com.